Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience? We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays, so sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's most you acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Check those cameras and remember to close the doors only 
if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night.
We went to great lengths to create
and eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the spread ahead if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Place for a few seconds. Uh, 
that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that trumpet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy Mask will pull it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned them to be more kid-friendly and put them in Kid's Cove uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know? But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together at the end of every shift. Eventually they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow.
Hi. Good job, night five. Um, hey, uh, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? Uh, from what I understand, the building is on lockdown. Uh, no one is allowed in or out, you know. Especially concerning any previous employees. Um, when we get it all sorted out, we may move you to the day shift. The position just became available. Uh, we don't have a replacement for your shift yet, but we're working on it. Uh, we're gonna try to contact the original restaurant owner. Uh, I think the name of the place was Red Bear's Family Diner or something like that. It's closed for years though, I doubt we'll be able to track anybody down. Uh, so just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Good night.
Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards almost like
Vintage Audio Training Gazette. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So Hello? I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes us feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injury, slash death, slash can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they're in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound sheet. It's an easy and hands-free approach are for maximum entertainment slash crowd sleeping down. Hello. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear. Hi.
next lesson, we will be continuing our training on Hello. proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out. That does not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layouts program animatronics or security suit. This room is hidden to customers visible to animatronics and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Hi.
It looks like you're making great progress, and more importantly, you're staying in your lane and sticking to the script, which is exactly what our risk assessment team was hoping you'd do. Please continue to enjoy the Fazbear virtual experience.
Remember to smile, you are the face of Ray Bev. 